Hello friends. Um, today we're going to take these earrings that we made the other day and uh, let me straighten that because that should have been that should have been lined up better than that. See how that wasn't lined up? Yeah, that's not good. You just go sideways and sideways until they are lined up. And there's a little tiny gap. We don't want that either. So, why are you being stinkers? There, that's much better. Okay. Uh, while I wasn't doing a video yesterday, I did take some time to clean up my table, do some more organization. I went and got this, which is, I had, which is a crystal plant crystal planter, plant dish, whatever you call it. And it's perfect for hanging your tools on the side, uh, putting your thing, tall things in here because it's heavy and it won't tip over. So many dishes that you use, um, they just will, if you put too much stuff in it, it'll just tip over. So I did that and I did. I also had this crystal uh, well, it's glass. It's crystally glass um, volt voltive candle holder, and I don't do a lot of candles, so but it's perfect for putting the taller stuff in here. I already had this one. This is a toothpick holder, so it's got my toothpicks and my cotton swabs and a little raspy thing there. So that's what I, part of what I was doing yesterday, or while I wasn't making a video. And I got to tell you, I missed you guys so much. It's like, I want to do a video. But I had, I had my, my setup that I used to um, put my phone on. I had that tour part. I had everything cleaned off. So, yeah, I didn't do one. <laughs> Anyways, I did put the jump rings on these here and drilled the holes because the holes closed up. So I had to do that. Um, but today we're going to show what you do with post. All right, you flip it over. There's two ways to do post. Um, I could resin this in place or use my E6000 and you can see the E6000 only says triple zero now because I rolled the the uh, the thing up because the, I used so much of the the glue. <clears throat> and like I've said several times, you can get this glue Walmart, hardware stores, craft stores. I mean, everybody carries this because it has so many uses. All right, I need a toothpick. Da da da. Punch a hole in that. All right, put a nice glob of glue here. Yeah, let me open this up a little bit. This is um, nonstick Reynolds wrap foil, and it's great stuff. I mean, stuff really doesn't stick to it. I have. <laughs> I took that that was in the kitchen because my husband was using it for just ordinary things, and I'm going. I hit it on him because it's more expensive than regular foil and he was using it like it, if he was making like fish sticks or something he lined the pan a whole big pan for a couple of fish sticks um, with this foil and I'm like all right he can use the other foil it's okay I just don't want you using this foil all right and what you do is you just put the glue on the back and stick the post there and I'm going to put a little glue over the edge so over the edge of the um, post and that's simply to kind of lock it more in place okay and it'll take about I would say <clears throat> 24 hours for that to be ready to wear. I still like this side of these where that black did not cover the uh, the glitter. All right, 
And then we have these here. I put these together. Oh, drop everything. Um, I think those are very pretty. All right, where did I put my glue? Yeah, is that the, hmm. <laughs> the problem with doing this is you, oh, there's the glue right there. You lose where you put it because it's clear. All right, let me put some there. Get my post. And you can put the post, the glue on the post too if you want. That's perfectly fine. And like I said, put a little bit of glue over the, the edge of the post just to, to set it better. All right, let me move that off to the side and do the last one here. Another thing you can do is put a big glob on that there. Take your post, take your post, <laughs> put it in, and then just kind of swirl it around so that the glue kind naturally comes over the edge. And of course that didn't because it was being stink. All right. Um, another thing I did on my day off for, from doing the videos is I went through the projects to figure out what projects would be good, which ones would be good to do. All right, fold that in half, put that over there. Let's put these back in. All right, where's my, huh? Okay. It was right here. I just had them. Oh, it's right there. Ah, good thing it doesn't bite. All right. Um, see what projects to do in the near future. I did also work on the wind chime. And I have just a little bit of um, the shell things to finish. And I, well, I'll do that online with you guys. Because uh, it's really boring if you sit there and watch the whole thing. So that's not good. All right, this here, we have decided we're going to pop that. So let's let's just grab something that we can put under there and pry it up. All right, come on. I can see you move. All right, where's those little pink things? I took care of them. I don't know where I put them. Oh, I put them in the... Nope, I didn't put them in. Well, ain't that a, I really don't know what I did with them. So we will make this work. I just don't want it. Ta -da! All right. <laughs> it came. Oh, the foil come off the back of it. That's fine. Um, we'll figure out something else to use that. And if we want, we can use that silver pen and put some silver on the back of that. I don't think this is going to pick off. Um, I thought about doing white there, and I I found this. Um, this is this is nasty. I won't use this because look at the glue. Something happened to it. It's really black, and this right here um, did not wash off. I I think I could use the knife maybe and scrape it off. But I think there's still some underlying discoloration. So, but that gives us an ideal of what it would look like if we did something white or light colors. The other thing I was thinking of, and I picked this up last time I was at Walmart because uh, it's just a paint sample thing. This is, happens to be Glidden because I wanted the bigger one. So that it would fit under a project. And if you just set your project on top of it, like that there, you can actually see what it would look like if we filled in all the negative space here with the black. I really like it. I like how it stands out. Now we could also put the white there and see whether or not the black and white would look really good and pull out all those colors. I kind of like it. I would probably not do this color white. I would maybe do the the mother of pearl again 
the white for that. Um, it is a a more beigey white than that there. But anyways, I wanted to let you know that these are free. Just go to the paint department and just about, you know, you can go to Ace. You can go to any of the hardware stores. They have paint, Lowe's. Um, but uh, this happened to be at Walmart and I was walking by and I'm going, oh, I need that. <laughs> so I grabbed that the other day. Uh, keep it right near your stuff so that you, when you decide you want to figure out whether or not you want a color behind it, just grab one. You can actually grab a bunch of different colors and see what would look really good behind your, your, um, your art there. All right, what else were we going to do? Oh, um, da -da -da. I was looking through a bunch of, um, charms and stuff because I needed to, uh, find something to go in a piece. And we'll talk about that one later. Um, not today, in another video. I also pulled out a bunch of, like this here's an earring that I would, I think would make a very, very pretty, um, so let's get rid of that. A very pretty, uh, ring here. Look at that. Whoops. All we have to do is glue that on. Well, we'd have to cut off the, the earring part and I would use a Dremel to make sure it was smooth because I definitely don't want to stab my finger. But wouldn't that make a very pretty ring? And it was a, a lone earring. It would make very pretty earrings if I had two of them, but I don't. I only have the one and I don't want to throw it away because like I said, you can find another use for them. So, uh, anyways, I was looking through the charms and I came across these two pieces here. Now, the funny thing is they were actually stuck together. Ta-da! Look at that. Um, so I will probably, this is, was a knife hilt. It's very well made, but it doesn't have the, the, the blade with it. And I really wanted to find something to do with that. And this is an uh, ugly, <laughs> it was ugly, um, part of a necklace and it was just hung down or whatever. It may have been earrings, I don't remember. But it's not pretty. It's uh, it's just a brass with some black enamel on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the resin, enamel some more on there, probably maybe gold, a shiny gold. Oops, goes this way. Uh, before I glue it in there, and then it's going to look like kind of like a an antique saber. And you can put a chain there and chain there and you can wear it as a necklace. Um, it's something maybe guys would wear too, not just girls. So anyways, I came across that. So I, I wanted to show it to you before I forgot it. Um, we were last, we were here. Oh, wait a minute. When I was at Hobby Lobby, I picked up these rings here. And they were $4.99 for 24 rings, and it was half price. If you see something like this, half price is when you want to buy it. You don't want to pay 5 bucks for 24 rings, if you're cheap like me. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I took one. Where's, right, where's the one I... Okay. These are fairly ugly on their own and I can't find the one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, that's really tacky, but I like how shiny and smooth and, um, that the ring itself is and it fits me. I mean, that's, that's a big thing. <laughs> Does it fit you? All right. So I popped the, the piece off here. Right there's the piece. And who knows, maybe I'll use those for something else. I'll hang on to the rhinestone. Anyways, if you look right here, you'll see a seam. So if this ring is not your size, you can either, well, you 
it's got a little glue there so it needs to be broke off there but you can cut it there and either make it a little bigger by expanding it and then just covering it with a a stone or a you know an earring thing or whatever because like here's another earring uh, I would cut this little part here off or you can ha hang a little chain there or whatever and then you can just glue it on I don't I get my hands out of the way and you just glue it on like that there and you got a little cute little ring and you can uh, you can put a little bobble there you can put a bead there you can put anything you want in your world I mean you have the ring and you have we're, we're gonna do some of those but like I said if this ring doesn't fit you just take um oops take something and just cut through there a dremel will work um I'm here let me let me try all right where's my wire cutters right there's wire cutters since I've got so many of these I can I got 24 of these let me make sure I line that up really well um because we don't want to cut where it isn't there and just cut it and if you need to make it bigger you just stretch them oh these are nice okay you see I just just with that much I just opened it a little bit if I pull harder it will open more and more if it is too big cut it figure out your length figure out how much you got to cut it because once you cut it it's cut okay so uh and you will want to put either some glue or some resin or something in that hole so that it's not sharp or anything the e6000 will fill that gap the um the resin will fill it whatever you use just make sure that it's it's smooth and not going to hurt you but anyways uh also if you happen to go to a wedding and they have these sitting on your table yeah go uh to the people are you going to take any of these and <laughs> just take as many as you can okay all right there's that um some other things that i saw while i was looking at rings and stuff i saw this year ring which i found very pretty and that would look really nice as an ear as a ring uh i found this one i i haven't cleaned it it needs to be some uh, a toothbrush and some dawn just soap taken to it but that would make a very pretty ring very uh very attractive uh, get my fingers out of the way see that would be very pretty uh what else i got this here is also an earring i got i think there was i counted up an estimate of 500 single earrings in one batch that my sister sent to me this one i love this one's definitely going to be made into a a ring for for me uh, and that's like i said a single earring so if you happen to lose an earring or if you get a if you decide you want to buy a um a craft lot something from either online or um, a Goodwill or a state sale or whatever, and you got single earrings, those are gold. Do not throw them away. I don't mean they're literally gold. They're probably um, just colored stuff. But And see, I found these here. But yeah, I keep those. Those are, those are wonderful. And this right here is a necklace and or it could be a wind chime which would make a really pretty wind chime and i could actually use that on the on that wind chime that i'm making that would be very pretty in it or ta-da rings <laughs> like i said always look at something differently than what the person intended because it can be anything you want it to be um oops that one needs to be tightened together okay but yeah i i don't think i would ever wear this as a necklace 
it doesn't do anything for me but as a I do like it as something to hang in the trees maybe or hang on somewhere where the wind will blow it just to give some movement and some pretty and I have actually more crystals I could put in it if I wanted so keep your eyes open for things like that and think about how can you repurpose something and how can you take and make something inexpensive if you don't have you know like a lot of money sitting around just waiting for you to spend it on crafts all right I did say I was gonna put the tape on that and I never did I am so sorry but anyways here's the tape and we are making a um <laughs> Okay, sun catcher. <laughs> I'm like, it's the thing you put in the window. Right. Oh, I want this. I want to lay that down like this. Because I tried doing it the way I was just about to show you. It did not work real well. It got a, a wrinkle in it. All right, put that on. Scrunch it down really good. Uh, the trick to doing any open bezel... Um, where you put resin on after you put the tape down is to make sure that tape is very very secure and that it has no wrinkles and you don't want a fingerprint in there either uh, on the inside because that is where you're going to be able to see so let's set that down on that all right push 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 run your finger around it make sure every little piece is done all right Ta -da. All right. <laughs> now, I did dig out my, these are, uh, I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're like, they're just little crystals. They're not designed so much for rhinestone as just for, to make inclusions and stuff. And I thought they would look really pretty reflect, refracting the light in the, in the resin. Okay, um, I'm going to use the, the um, UV resin, and this is the hard type. There is other types. This is Let's, Let's Resin. It's a very, very good one. It has a very low odor. It dries crystal clear. You don't have to mix anything, and it's fast curing. Um, my sister got me uh, a, th a box with three of these in there just to say... Um, Welcome to the, to, uh, resonating, being, um, oh, and I did not bring my colors. Oh, stink. But I want to just, just add just a little bit of color to this. And I think this might be a good one to, oh, I stuck my finger in there. No! Might be a good one to use some glow in the dark. Because it'll be sitting in the window or out on your porch or somewhere where it's catching the light. And so when the sun goes down, suddenly you will have a glow in the dark because it's been powered up. I'm sorry that I did not pull these earlier. Anyways, let me, I'm not sure which of these two, oh, this top box. I'm not sure which box it was that had the glow in the dark in it. Okay. Now we got to decide what color glow in the dark we have want. Um, -de 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 -de. Is the green gone? Uh, yep, the green's gone, the blue is gone, and the white is gone. So... We are left with those as our choices. And I really need to find somewhere where I can get some more glow in the dark. Because it's cool. I'm thinking... I think I like the yellow. What do you think? So, let's get a stirry thing. And put some yellow in there. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. All right. And 
then I will probably put different colors in and this is not these are pretty much going to be freestyle because uh, it's just a sun catcher type thing mm -hmm. so I might do more than one color of this and uh, the other day I, I, I was mentioning the art thing that um, someone got me my, my son got me for Christmas um, and it had uh, all these little little tiny I called them rhinestones because I'm going I don't know what they're called um, inclusions actually they're not inclusions because they don't actually don't go inside it they actually you're making a picture with them but uh, I said they were diamond something or other. It's called diamond art. So, yeah, that's exactly what it's called. And I went out to the shed and I got the, the applicator, this right here. And it has, it has a wax thing. You just stick this in here and it pulls out a little wax plug. And then you can pick up your rhinestones really easy. So I may use that to place these rhinestones if I want to place them. Not sure yet how I'm going to do that. Anyways, I'm going to add some just clear resin with this. Um, do -do 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 -do. And we're going to let it do its thing. I will use a toothpick to make sure I get to the very edge because that's a very important thing. Yeah, let me fold this tape in a little bit so that when I touch it, all I'm touching is like the back of the tape instead of the front of the tape. Don't go over that. All right, I did a really bad job on that one. I'm sorry. Um, toothpick. All right, let's just move this out to the edge. And I'm going to have to put more out here on the edge. Because we definitely want it attached to this bangle. And this was just a bangle that came in one of the boxes my sister sent me of jewelry that was not resellable for her. So uh, she thought I could make something with it. And so... This is my choice of what I'm going to make for, with it. And we're going to need a lot more resin than what I have in there. Uh, let me put more in here too. And I really think that I will probably put more colors in there too. I'll put some of that, this, this orange and some pink in there. And, uh, but not until after I get get a base coat in here. I really should have gotten a base coat first. Oh, got some air bubbles in there. I don't know if you can see them. But uh, I'm going to pop those before we get too far into it. All right. Well, yesterday it was a gorgeous day here in Georgia and uh, so we have a fire pit and since it's been either raining or cold we have not burned for a while so yesterday I burnt the uh, the stuff in the in the fire pit that was fun I have a tendency to uh, like fire a little bit too much maybe um, but uh, I'm very careful with it and my kids, you know, they learned fire safety. So I'm not as careful as my husband, mind you. He's, uh, he's one of those people who uh, Smokey the Bear would take lessons from as to, oh, what's the proper use of that? How do you not start a fire? Only you can prevent forest fires. Only now it's only you can prevent wildfires. So, life has changed. 
Um, <laughs> all right, let me bring that back. Just set that toothpick on there because I really don't want to get the orange on here. I know that the <laughs> I know the uh, silicone mat that I have under here will the resin will come right off of it, but I don't want it stained and it might get stained with the uh, glow in the dark. I don't know. And since I don't know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay. So, um, let's actually let me hit that with the UV and then we're gonna put some more UV resin on there, UV light. And then we're going to add some more colors and add some of these here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which ones we're going to put in, but anyways, we're just going to put some seconds on this to just so that the, the yellow, this yellow doesn't mix with the other colors. All right. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but look how it fluoresces under the light here. Isn't that pretty? So. Um, blah, 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 blah. So let me put this away because I don't want to overdo one color. We can always come back to it. Okay, let's put some resin in. Put some more resin in here because we're going to add some color to that. Okay. Spread this out a little bit. And I'm getting more bubbles in there. I must be uh, must be a bubble factory here. Let's heat that up so we pop the bubbles. Oh, I missed some bubbles right there. Oh, well, it's a sun catcher. We'll just call it part of the art, right? Because let's face it, it can be anything we want it to be. Um, should I put the color in first or should I put some of these in first? Let's go ahead and put the color in first. And where's my little spoon? My little spoon. Since I used the stick I was using. So, huh, where are you guys from anyways? Are you enjoying a nice um, winter's day? Or are you guys a little warmer like what we are? Um... I have to be really careful when I start, you know, saying how beautiful the weather is down here because I got a lot of siblings up in in uh, in Massachusetts, in New York, and Wisconsin. I think that's Wilmers. Uh, that's terrible. Um, you'd think I'd remember these things. Uh, there's only two of us out of the seven kids. Who live in the south and that's my my baby sister who is in uh, North Carolina Virginia Beach area when that pretty I kind of like that all right we're gonna make sure we get it off we don't want to waste any but uh even in Virginia she can get some worse weather than worse weather than we get uh, my son in Tennessee can get snow and and ice storms and stuff <clears throat> so <clears throat> yeah it's amazing how much difference just a little bit of geography makes in your weather so all right I like that that's that's really pretty okay let's um let's start with some of these that 
All right, let's start with just clear. Let's start with just some clear. Oh, look at the, the like UV coating on them. Yeah. And I'm just going to drop them in. Now, sometimes when, I'm going to make a line of them. Sometimes when uh, crystals get covered in, in resin, they just kind of disappear. I'm hoping this, this coating on this will, um, will bring them up, make it so you can see them. All right. I don't want to waste too many of them in case that's not the case. Uh, let's put some, I think green would go really good with those colors. So let's get some green ones. And you don't want to just keep one, one line there. Let's, let's kind of make an arc there maybe. I'm hoping when the sun hits these crystals, they will be very pretty. Okay. And let's do some, some purple. And uh, at night you won't see the crystals so much as what you'll see the glow in the dark. So they'll each will probably shine in their own time. And let's go back on that one. So it looks kind of like just just kind of peeked out here. You gotta make your own little story with things, you know. It kind of come out, looked at it, and goes, eh, let me go back in. Let's do ah, the red don't want to come out. The good part about this, even though I haven't used these yet, they do not have that tape on them that uh, the the powders have on them. Remember to open them up because they've got a, a ring of tape on them. All right. And let's take that one down that way. And I can go up there. All right. That's kind of pretty. And I think I'll do just one more color, and I think it will do this blue. And I'll do it over there by that green. And maybe come up as I'm headed that way. Turn back down. Come back down that way. Oops, I did not want that blue one there. Huh, let me toothpick and encourage him to move elsewhere and since this is this resin is still wet we can move them all around Oops, that's a white one we were that is white um kind of like the linear look the fact that it looks like it's in a line so let me Fix these red because I think I'd like I would like it look like it's got like string art or something. Like I said, it's our world. We can make it what we want. And we can call it what we want. Now let's move you this way. This one here kind of over this way. Let's turn you that way. Make you look like you, you bulged there. Come down this way. 
Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I have not checked the zoom to see whether or not I am zoomed properly or not. If I'm not, I apologize immensely. Alright. Now, I don't even know if this is going to work. <laughs> because I've never done this before. But I kind of like those. Alright, let's pull that off. And we're going to hit this with the UV light. There we go. Had to peek in and see what the, the uh, glow in the dark looks like. Um, I do want to add some pink to it, I think. And it will mix in with this orange and the yellow that's already in there. Because I did not use a clean cup. But that's okay. That's okay. It's my world. And they know me there. Now, what I will probably do, probably not on camera, but I will get my Dremel or my drill and just drill a little hole in this, put a jump ring in it, and then we can add a chain to it. We could add something like this here and just hang it from like a, a rafter or something on the porch or put it in a tree so that it's uh, just a little happy thing that you see when you're walking around the yard. Or I can put a suction cup on it, which I don't think I have any suction cups. But you can put a suction cup on it and uh, just mount it to the window. And that would be beautiful too. So, All right. Interesting. I don't know if I like it as much as I did before. I'm going to put this in the negative space, like right here, so I'm not covering up the um, the crystals. I am putting the, the hot pink in there. All right, let's put some right in here. Put some right in there. Now I will, after I, I uh, cure this last bit, I will put it under, I'll try to see if I can't let you see what it looks like when it glows by uh, shining the light on it while it's uh, picking up so you can see. don't have any on it. I'm going to use every bit of this I can. <laughs> All right. Let's cure it one more time. All right. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, I did take the zebra pen pendant and I hit it with the silver pen all the way around it so it doesn't have that brassy look anymore and I did the back of it too now if I want I can actually fill in this part with like I don't know a red resin and then maybe do out here do a black so if you wanted you could either wear it because this comes on and off really easy it's just magnetic clothes you can wear this or you can wear this now, I have to decide what color I want in the center. And I have not decided yet. I think black would look really good in there. Um, tell me what you think. Um, oh, I guess white would be okay in there too. I really don't want to put a zebra back in there. Because <laughs> that was pretty nasty. Um... But yeah, tell me what you think would make a really good color because I will be using the resin and filling it in. And uh, actually, if, well, 
no, I'm not going to do it. I was going to say, if you want to see what it would look like black, I can take the, the black marker and just color it in here. And that would show you what's black. But if I just, if we decide not to do black, then that black might show through. So I don't want to do that. All right. All right. As you can see, this is cured. I can touch it all. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. All right. Hmm. All right. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Why isn't it? All right, let's let me push there. All right. Now, can you see it glowing? Um, it's it glows actually better underneath than it does when I out to the side here, but you get an idea of what it would look like with it powered up. So shut that off. Anyways, once it's shut you off. Once it's done, you just take this here and you take the tape off of it. Now what we can do is we can resin this back side too. If you think that it needs it. If the, if it like isn't smooth or if the tape left a residue um, a lot of reasons why you might want to dome the back that and doming just makes a piece look finished I mean there's earrings up yeah see that's the back side and it leaked out just a little bit right here I guess I didn't I'll just pick that off like that I didn't uh, seal the tape as good as I thought I had. I was more worried about sealing it on the edge and not a bit leak that way, but I didn't seal the two pieces together. I kind of like it. It's it's unique. Let's see if it, I can do it now that the... No, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna show it real well. But uh, yeah, I think there may be some tape residue on the back so I am going to just hit it with some some color here color no not color some resin all right just just put a little bit right there it'll also make it stronger because it makes it um one more level of on the stuff and just spread it out make sure you have it all the way to the edge because the more it's stuck to that um, bracelet, the angle there, the uh, more it's permanent. Although I, I don't think you could ever get it off this bangle at this point. Sorry, I just realized I was giving you terrible shadows. Uh, now, <clears throat> my husband's going to check to see whether or not... Walmart has a um, a cell phone adapter that goes to a tripod because we have a tripod we've had it for over 40 years and uh, two o'clock in the morning I'm going tripod <laughs> I realized we have a tripod I did not know whether or not it I could use it with the phone or not um, and it needs the adapter because there's a screw that comes up in the middle of it. So I can't use the, the thing I'm using here that has a suction cup on it. Because the suction cup would be right over that, that um, part that has a screw. But uh, yeah, he's going to check for me. If not, then we'll probably order one online. I just hate paying the shipping. <laughs> I'm like, it's like $5 for shipping for uh, these things. And you can't just have them send it to the uh, the store. I mean, I don't mind going to the store and picking it up. But no, that was, that was one of the things. It does not ship to store. Okay, I've got two of these. So I need to put them back. I can do that while while that is curing. I keep wanting to say cooking. It's not cooking, although they can get hot. 
because they it is um, a chemical reaction that causes heat. And then I dropped a red one too. All right. You don't want to lose any of our little special things. And uh, my brother's been using the word inclusion because he said he learned that on this channel. He's so funny. All right. It's kind of touching that my brother will watch this because I never expected him to. And uh, it's sweet. I mean, it really is. Oh, don't. Like, don't hit these. Oh, they're, they're pretty set in there. Look at that. I'm not going to try to pull it off, but they're pretty good. Let me set them over there so I don't hit them again. Same with this pair here. They're kind of in the way, but that's going to be pretty. All right. Um, let's see. What's the next thing I want to do? Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's all that I had planned on talking at this time. So let's hit that one more time. Cure it real good. We're going to toss that into our, our trash can. See, while I labeled things, trash can. Future projects. This has things that we will do at a future date. I just saw uh, while I was cleaning up, I'm going, that's future, that's future, that's future. Uh, these here I have to dome. Uh, that just, that's nothing you guys really want to watch. I doubt it's basically what I just did on that. Just put a clear resin, spread it out, let it cure. Uh, I did put these, whoops, I did mount those on ear wires and stuff. Uh, this pair here, I drilled the hole. I did those this morning. I drilled a bunch of holes. And I want to put some, uh, I'm going to mix up some mother of pearl and dome this back so that that blue doesn't show as much or the fact that it would look more uniform. But I really like those. Those are plants right out of my yard. So that's that was really cool. And yesterday when I was burning, I happened to see the fact that the little blue flowers that I was looking for the other day had come up. I mean, they came up overnight because they were not out there uh, two days before when I was looking for them. Um, my mom called them forget-me-nots, but I looked up on online and they're actually called bluets. B-L-U-E-T. Bluets. It's kind of like, oh, you blew it. All right. That is pretty. And that will be pretty hanging in a window or something. I just need to drill a hole and hang it up. <coughs> and uh, I may invest in some, uh, some little suction cups for such things like this. Because I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, bangles that are simple like this and they basically have no use as a bracelet anymore because they are they're a little worn or they're just plain or whatever but I want to do some for Christmas um, for the Christmas tree and stuff because that would be pretty hanging on a Christmas tree um, I probably wouldn't well if I did glow in the dark it wouldn't be these colors for Christmas but, uh, yeah, I could, I could make, like, a green tree and put some of the the red and blue and the clear and stuff and just put the decorations on it and then do clear around it. Those would make pretty Christmas ornaments. Uh, yeah, you can put a Christmas card behind them and then just decorate the front and maybe use some of these uh, crystals on the front for to decorate the tree and make it stand out more and the light would hit it. But there's a lot of things you can do with a bangle after you decide it can't be a bangle anymore. So we will be doing some of that. So I am going to close this video and I'm going to check to see uh, 
if it'll let me upload because my computer's been a stink. And I use ClipChamp to edit my videos. And sometimes it's just, I don't know, it just tells me I don't use that program. Yes, you do. And you have to just start all over. And uh, eventually it will, ooh, that broke off, um, it will take it. And I think it's my computer. I don't think it's the, the ClipChamp program because a lot of people use it. All right, there is, I picked that out of there. That was part of that ring. And now I have a big stone. And if I wanted to put some stones in the, things like that, I could. But anyways, I'm going to get done with this. I am Bethany. This is New Life Jewelry Creations. And I hope that you liked this video and uh, share it with friends. Uh, if you know somebody who likes to do this kind of stuff or just wants to kill some time watching videos, I would enjoy any comment they made, any comments you make. Um, but yeah, it, it's good to be back on, on the video again. Yesterday was excruciating for me. So I will talk to you again.